As we said in the last video, a canvas can be rendered using one of three render modes, screen space overlay, screen space camera, and world space. With screen space overlay, the canvas is rendered to the screen after being fit to the screen. The UI will be displayed in front of any objects in the game at all times. Here is an example of a canvas being rendered in screen space overlay mode. I'm going to come over here after selecting my canvas and make sure I'm set to the default screen space overlay. Next, I'm going to create a cube game object by going to game object, 3D object, cube. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my main camera and I want to lock the inspector by clicking this little lock right here. What this will do is this will keep this inspector no matter what element I select on main camera. The reason this is important is because it's going to show me a camera preview here of what is going to be rendered to my camera with the exclusion of the UI elements. I want to come over here and select my cube and now I actually want to move it and scale it so that my camera sees it. So right now I'm just scaling this cube object up after moving it to the left a little bit. Now I'm moving it down and now if I just scale it back down and just still play around with the size a little bit, eventually we'll have it fitting to our screen so you can see that cube there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play and what you're going to see is you're actually, well first let me unlock this inspector here, don't forget to do that because now any object we select will see its properties on the right hand side here. And now you're going to see since we're in screen space overlay mode, the button be rendered in front of, of our cube here. And here we go, you can see that this button is rendered in front of our cube. In the second option, screen space camera mode, the canvas will be rendered at the same distance away from the camera, but will always be in front of and facing the camera. If a game object is farther away from the camera than the canvas is, it will appear behind the canvas when rendered to the camera. Now, on the contrary to that, if an object is closer to the camera than the canvas is to the camera, it will be rendered in front of the canvas and will be basically uh, displayed as though it were another game object in front of this, in front of, as though the UI were another game object and this object is being displayed in front of it, which you'll see. Here is an example of a canvas being rendered in screen space camera mode. So what I'm going to do in order to do this is to go to select my canvas come over here to render mode and I want to change that to screen space camera. You'll see that this here came up and we have our uh, pixel perfect option but we also, the really important option here is the render camera option. We're going to come over here to select the camera we want to render to and we're going to drag our camera there. Okay, so now you can see that we have the ability to control our distance here by coming over to plane distance and increasing or decreasing the distance to and from the camera. So right now if I were to hit play in screen space camera mode my cube is closer to my camera so it's being rendered there first to the camera and appears over the UI element. But what I'm doing now is I'm holding down alt and I'm left mouse button clicking I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in. I'm going to reposition this game object to behind the UI element and now I want to make sure my canvas is still set to screen space camera I want to hit play and see what happens. And as you'll see now, my button here is actually rendered over my cube object. This means that my UI, as we repositioned here, is closer to my camera than the cube. And looking at this from a sort of side view, you can see that that definitely is the case. The main camera is right here. Once we select it, we can see which way it's pointing and its field of view here. Now in world space render mode, the canvas is going to be treated as though it were a regular game object in the scene. Now, this s almost supersedes the screen space camera mode where it sort of was like a game object. Here, you can actually rotate, scale, and move the canvas and position it wherever you want. Also, other game objects in the scene can pass behind the canvas, through it, or in front of it. Here is an example of the canvas being rendered in world space mode. I'm going to come over here to canvas and I want to change screen space to world space mode. And our event camera is still our main camera. 
Now, I want to scale this canvas down. I'll select the canvas and hit the R key on my keyboard to bring up the scale tool. And I'll scale it down. Let's see what happens when we hit play. And you'll see now we're dealing with a very small canvas. I also could rotate my canvas. I could do this by selecting the canvas, hitting the E key to bring up the scale tool, rotating this canvas. Now you'll see here that it's on a bit of an angle. A little bit hard to see because of how small it is. So I'll scale that up for you, just to make sure you fully understand the concept. See, as you can see, the UI is slanted. In closing, those are the three render modes that you can use with your canvas, and each of them is appropriate for a different style of game. One interesting point to note is that if you're developing for the Oculus Rift in Unity, you won't be able to see your UI unless you set this to world space and properly align the canvas uh, to wherever you want it to be within the Oculus camera's field of view.